due to Typhoon Hagibus, or Hagibus, however you say it, Hagibus, I believe it is, coming in, we actually ended up having our flights delayed. So our, well not delayed, but canceled. And so we were originally supposed to fly from Osaka to Tokyo, and then from Tokyo to LA, but because it was heading straight towards Tokyo, the Osaka airport, they canceled their flight and then Tokyo also canceled theirs. So I literally spent about six hours on the phone with Orbitz trying to get flights figured out. And needless to say, finally, after painstaking hours, I finally got it figured out. Since our flights got canceled, this gave us an extra day in Japan. So it was kind of exciting in a way, and it actually ended up working out because we found some places that I would have been really sad if I had missed it. We stopped by a restaurant that specialized in just curries. So I got this beef cutlet curry, and then my husband, I don't even know what kind of curry this was. It had so many different types of things in it, like shrimp or something. I don't, I don't remember. Remember. So this is what the sky looks like during the typhoon. We're here in Osaka near Hamachi Station. So the sky's like this weird pink color. It's been looking pretty crazy for a couple of hours. We've had tons of rain today. After trying several different types of chocolates while I was there, I found that the Dars chocolates seemed to be my favorite. Also, along with the, of course, chocolate mochis, those were delicious. So here we are at our first Japanese laundromat. We're disinfecting the machines now. So since we have to stay here an extra day because of the typhoon stuff, and we are kind of out of clothes, so. Let's hopefully get some clean clothes for us for the rest of the trip. Have less of a stinky suitcase. We are heading towards Meta to go check out the jump shop for Shonen Jump. This is the, I already forgot the name of the river. Don Jibu, I don't remember. So we decided since we had the extra time that we were going to find the jump shop, which I had been wanting to find, and I had thought it was more towards Dontonbori, but of course it was in the opposite direction, more towards Umeda. And so we arrived at this really tall building, and I assumed it was somewhere in here, which was correct, but this building was just huge, and I guess it's like another one of those secret major shopping areas. We arrived at the jump shop and it was really cool to see so much manga and anime all in one place. I wish I could have had a lot more money to just buy a ton of stuff because I totally would. Though I did wish that they had more of like Black Clover there, but I was really happy to see some of Dr. Stone. Towards the top of this building, there's like this giant ferris wheel that you can ride and there's a really cool tunnel at the top that I knew I wanted to walk through so I don't even know where you go to get to this ferris wheel, I believe it's closer to the top but it was really different. I definitely don't see places or buildings like this in America. We stopped and ate at a restaurant that was towards the top floor of this building and it was really delicious. My husband got some kind of a seafood pasta and I tried another one of their margarita pizzas and it was super good. All of them had really great flavors. We headed back towards Dontonbori for a little bit and we ran into the Gundam Cafe. I was stoked. I was like telling my husband, I was like, oh my gosh, look, we have to stop. And he couldn't believe it either. I don't know how we walked past this the first time when we came down, but apparently we did. Found the Gundam Cafe. All right, everyone, so I needed to do some updates now. So yesterday was kind of a nightmare day with the typhoon coming, and so we were not able to 
catch our flight today, which was originally scheduled for Sunday. So yesterday we found out, I think in the middle of the night, that our flight from the Kansai Airport in Osaka to Tokyo was canceled due to the typhoon. And so, but with all the trains shut down and the typhoon heading straight towards Tokyo, we were not able to find any way to get to Tokyo for that part of the flight. So I was on the phone with Orbitz for hours yesterday um, and calling back and forth, back and forth. And we were homeless because we checked out of our other place. And so we had to sit in a cafe at the metro station and just to try to regroup while we worked on the phone with Orbitz. And finally, someone found us a flight um, after they called Delta. It took forever. But so we have a flight that's leaving tomorrow on Monday at like four o'clock in the afternoon, but we're going to stop in Honolulu and then from Honolulu to LA. So yeah, thankfully we're finally going to get away back. The most important thing was that I needed to be back by Tuesday because I do have work on Tuesday and we're thankfully going to get back like right in time. So yeah, I'm not really going to get a whole lot of rest until after I finish work that day, but that's a-okay as long as we get back in time. And so after we get to L.A., then we're going to catch our flight back home. So, yeah, it's been a long journey. And then my husband was able to find a hotel for us to stay in for two nights. So we have one more night here. And then we're going to head to the airport tomorrow afternoon. So we did get an extra day. And the weather's been beautiful today and a little chilly. But, yeah, yesterday there was just a ton of rain. And it was just... It was a mess yesterday, so I'm glad that most of that's over. We went back to Dotombari and just kind of checked out a lot of those gotcha machines. And so, yeah, we had a really great time with that. I also never made my video for what I thought about the Kotokumi concert. And so I'll be a little brief on that, and I'll go in more into detail about that when I get back. But it was incredible and an awesome experience, and I met several different um members of the Kotogumi Global Fan Club. So that was awesome to meet them in real life. And we actually all got to sit next to each other for the Japanesque live. And I had great seats for both Black Cherry and Japanesque. And she is amazing live. And it's understandable why they call her the queen of live, getting to see her perform. And her vocals were fantastic. And she reached every note that she needed to. And the dancing was awesome. So I can't compliment it enough. It was definitely the experience of a lifetime. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity that I had. So I will give you guys way more details when I get back home. I just don't have a whole lot of time right now with everything that's been going on. So I will get back to you guys with another update here soon. We are in downtown Namba area. There's so many bikes here, none of them are locked up. It's crazy, all these food places. We are heading towards some anime stores to check out. And also seeing the nightlife scene here. So we're gonna keep following this. shops with all these models. I couldn't do videos because they wouldn't allow cameras um, to take photos or videos. So sorry to film any of that, but this place is awesome. Hero Gong down there is one place we went to the kids in. But we are having an awesome time exploring these. Dindin Town was such an awesome experience and I could have spent a fortune down there with all the anime stuff that we found. 
but it was definitely worth the experience. So if you guys are in the Osaka, Namba area, I would highly suggest you go check out Dinden Town if anime is your thing. During our trip, we discovered actually on the first night that one of our favorite chicken things that we tried while we were in Japan was this famichiki which you could just buy at the family mart and it's like a double fried chicken and oh my gosh it was so juicy so tender just so amazing so we ate this several times from the gas station so I wish we had this in America on our last day before leaving to head towards the Osaka airport we stopped to eat at our favorite little bakery and my husband tried this bread with like an egg right in it and some sausage. So we are headed on our way to the station so that we can catch our flight out of Osaka. We just stopped and had breakfast or I guess lunch in Dontonbori and now we are just walking through all the shopping. And checking out more of this stuff on our way to the airport. We also found this restaurant that served sumo dishes so everything was like sumo portions and they were ridiculously huge but of course it was closed at the time and we didn't have time to go in nor probably the money to spend on something quite that extensive. We stopped by another gyoza shop in Dontombori and they had delicious gyoza. It was so good. Some of them had the wagyu beef in it and it was absolutely fantastic. This is the karaoke station with Kodokumi themed rooms. They're playing A. You can hear it in there. Goodbye, Kodokumi. We are leaving Japan. I never got to see the karaoke room. It would have been fun, but I heard that calling to make the reservation was a nightmare and that it was way too hard because they don't speak any English, so I didn't want to mess with it. And then the whole typhoon thing kind of threw some things off, so oh well. officially checked out of Japan and we are here at the Kansai airport waiting for our flight. I think we still have like two hours, two hours, something like that before we start boarding. Maybe an hour till we board and like another hour till we actually depart. But we got a pretty good seat here. Like nobody's really here yet, but you can see the planes outside. And it was pretty quick to get through security. Hardly took any time at all, but it was mostly just getting the baggage checked and that took forever. And yeah, so we are ready for our trip home. I'm excited to get back home. When I get back, I will have to do a separate video to talk about what I thought were some of the pros and cons of Japan that I liked. So, all right guys, I will see you when I get back home. Possibly I might do another video once we get to Honolulu. So here we go, safe travels to us. So we bought these great flavored Kit Kats. But I guess we're gonna get a try here. While we're at the airport waiting. So, let's see here. You gonna open this for me? <laughs> Kyoto grape. Hmm. Not bad, actually. Never would have imagined that. Pretty good. I think you should all give Kyoto Grape a try. I actually really like this.
I was so excited on the flight towards Honolulu when they came around to give us our meal and it was like in this cute bento box because I was not expecting that. And most of the food in this was actually pretty delicious. I kind of stayed away from like the tofu thing. I'm just not a huge fan of tofu but it was really delicious. When we arrived in Honolulu, it was about 5.11 in the morning, and we had to, of course, get through customs to get back into America, and so that didn't take too long. But it was kind of exciting to spend just a little bit of time here in Honolulu because I've never been to Hawaii, and so for a brief moment in time, I can say that I have been now to Hawaii. That's gorgeous. What a pretty area to walk around in at an airport. As we took our final ascent from the Honolulu airport, I made sure to get a picture of the ocean because I wanted to prove to myself that I was there and just to see how beautiful the ocean was because where I live, the ocean is pretty dark and you can't see through it. So I just thought that this was gorgeous. 